Joining us now on 72 Soul Sportsline ahead of his own show, which is coming up here in about an hour and 15 minutes, is Gambo. Uh, Gambo, thanks for the time, man. What, um, how did we get to this point with Indiana, in your mind, where they just kind of pushed the yeah. sense of urgency for everybody? Well, I was told last Wednesday, and I tweeted it out, that Indiana is creating max cap space to make an offer sheet to DeAndre Ayton. A lot of people, Luke, questioned me and said, you know, is it is it going to be a sign and trade? And I'm like, no, I'm not hearing sign and trade. So last Wednesday, I kind of put it out there, watch out for Indiana, watch out for an offer sheet. The reason that they didn't want to do a sign and trade is because they don't have to. They're not going to give the Phoenix Suns two first-round draft picks. They don't have to. They're going to, ma- they're going to give DeAndre Ayton an offer sheet, and they kind of waited this out. One of the reasons why is because, and I mentioned this a few days ago, is because Malcolm Brogdon had not taken his physical yet, so that money was not cleared. That cap space was not completely cleared. But they were also trying to put the Suns in a position where they weren't going to match. And I think in some ways they were kind of waiting for Kevin Durant to see if the Suns would get Durant because it's, 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 it just doesn't seem feasible that the Suns could have Aiton, Durant, Chris Paul, and Devin Booker on the same team. <laughs> So I think that's why I think they were just waiting it out. But they were never interested in a sign and trade. The Suns didn't want Turner. And the Indiana Pacers were never going to give the Suns draft picks. So, Johnny, what what are the Suns going to do? What do you think the Suns do from this point forward? All right, listen, I've got a lot of calls in now because this just happened, right? right. I mean, I'm sitting here in right. Huntington Beach. But here's, here's, <laughs> what I can, here's what I think, guys. Here's what I think. I think it would be real. you got to look at the luxury tax, Wolf. The luxury tax is $150.2 million. That's what it starts at, 150.2. After the first, after you go, after the first $5 million, it, it goes up to a do, from $1.50 to $1.75. Then after the next $5 million, it goes up to $2.50 per dollar. So for every dollar you're spending, it goes up to two fifty. Mm. If you add up the salaries of, of those four guys, including Kevin Durant, you're at one hundred and thirty three million dollars already. And it's, how like how are you going to put a roster together? I mean, you're going to pay a if they if they're able to get Durant and they have to keep Aiden for at least six months, they're paying a ginormous luxury tax. I don't know if they can do it, guys. I really don't know if they can do it. Uh, we're talking to Gambo. Gambo, I, I remember the tweet that you're referencing last week was the one hey, that kind of gave guys, us. Guys, yeah, guys, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call you guys back. The Suns are. I'm checking in with the Suns right now. I'm getting a call. Let me grab. Do it. it. Okay, uh, Gambo. All right. Um, I guess all just right, sort guys. of catch us up where you are. So the Suns. What I can tell you is the Suns have not received the offer sheet yet. So they have not received the offer sheet from from Indiana or from the league. So they don't have it. But I will tell you, from what I'm hearing, the Suns are committed to do whatever it takes to put a championship team on the court, including paying a luxury tax of seventy, eighty, ninety, a hundred million dollars. That wow. leads me to believe that they may match this offer. Leads me to believe that I haven't been told that, but what I am being told is that they will do whatever it takes to win. And if that includes, you know, paying a luxury tax of seventy, eighty, ninety, maybe up to a hundred million dollars. They they would be willing to do that, but they have not received the offer sheet yet from Indiana or okay, from the league. Okay, Johnny, is there any reason why they haven't received that in this day and age uh, of technology? Takes, I mean, maybe, maybe just takes time. I don't know. Indiana, you know, everybody kept saying Indiana didn't have max cap space. I mean, it's easy to get there. I mean, you probably got a, you know got some two way contracts, some guys that are on partially guaranteed deals. So there's things that you can do to get there if you're five six million away um but they you know they the offer is out there we know what it is it's just the suns at this point you know this just happened all within the last yeah. hour so at this point right now as we're speaking the suns do not have the offer sheet they don't have it now once but they have it then the clock walk. will start the 48 hour clock will start gambo there's talk online that they still have a few hours to try and pull off a sign and trade have you heard anything about that no, I just I don't think that Indiana has ever wanted to do a sign and trade. I don't think that they the Suns don't want Miles Turner, even though he's got one year left. I mean, you could justify it by like, okay, he's only got we only got one year. Like, okay, you know, you could say that, but the Indiana's not giving up draft picks. They don't need to. I mean, Indiana's you know belief is their belief is that they put themselves in a position where the Suns aren't going to match. That's what they've been waiting for. So the Suns not you know they don't think the Suns are going to match it. Because if you add up all the salaries, I mean, you are talking about a hundred million dollars in luxury tax payments. Yeah. You know, I mean, that would be that would have been second in the league this year to Golden State's, I believe. Mm-hmm. I mean, you know, I think it would have been I think it would have been second in the league. 
Yeah, so the Johnny. The luxury tax starts at 150.2, but, like, it's a crazy scenario, guys. Like I said, it goes first $5 million, it's a dollar. You know, fifty. Then it goes to a dollar seven. It goes to a dollar seventy-five for every dollar spent. Then it goes to two fifty for every dollar spent. I mean, you get to the point where it just the numbers just go crazy, and that's what happens to the Warriors. So, Johnny, in the name of clarity, right now, you're 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 willing to say that the Suns, the one thing you do know, the Suns are not going to let him walk. I don't know, and I wouldn't say that for sure. But I was told is that they're prepared to do whatever it takes to put a championship team on the court and if they determine that they've got to pay a hundred million dollars in luxury tax they're willing to do that and whatever it is it is they're not going to shy away it's not if anybody's thinking okay the Suns won't pay that type of tax i'm being told that they will so if they think it's best to what are the benefits of letting deandre walk there's really only you know the only benefit is to say is saving money i mean you're only saving yeah. money you can still trade them in six months or a year um but you would also get a you know a bigger exception because if you're an, if you're not a taxpayer, you get a higher ex- exception to use than if you are a taxpayer. But again, the guys, I mean, I'm telling you, I just listen, I just got off the phone just a few minutes ago. That's why yeah. I hung up with you guys. They're willing to do whatever. They have not received the offer sheet yet. They're willing to do whatever it takes to put a championship team on. And I think that the estimates of you know if they if they're able to get Durant and Aiton, the estimates are about a hundred million dollars on an offer sheet. Gambo, we appreciate it. I know you're on vacation, or at least trying to be on vacation, too. So thanks for the time, man. Gotcha. Thanks, Johnny.